Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. How are you doing, you beautiful, beautiful people? My fellow gamers, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and got the time to game. Today we're gonna react to Dragon's Dogma 2 has us completely hooked IGN's final impression. So without further ado, because your time is the most important thing, we got a game after all. Let's go, let's react. I'm looking forward to this game, I know you are too. And now we get a deeper dive into this beautiful Bigger. I wasn't sure what bigger. to expect from Dragon's Dogma 2. I have Dark Arisen in my Steam library and a paltry 70 minutes of game time that is likely going to increase in the coming weeks. But while I may be inexperienced compared to those already aware of Dogma's greatness, I can safely say that my preview session broke my hype meter. <laughs> I cannot wait to play more. Dude, I'm the same as you. I didn't play Dragon's Dogma 1. I came across this by mistake and man am I looking forward to this game after being dropped into a random save that started me in the middle of a town with the mystic spearhand vocation I wasn't really sure where to go but that was the beauty of this demo dragon's dogma 2 organically gave me plenty of options for what to do next and there's no wrong answer when it comes to how you want to play this game i was That's almost awesome. immediately greeted by a traveler asking me to find their orb because if it wasn't found his master could have him killed that jewel was my last hope Morris, a shopkeeper, told me that his grandson Raj had gone missing and a villager informed me that he was dragged off by wolves. When I started talking to people in town, I met folks who told me about a town that was overrun with fell beasts. So am I to understand it's not about they don't have a quest marker above them? You go and you speak and you like, you try. You just, oh, what do you have to offer? What's up with you? Like, that's, that's cool. That's new to me. All of these options were there to pursue in addition to the main storyline. Yeah, none of these are even the main quest. And while I was <laughs> probably supposed to do that, I was about to say it's like Skyrim. And then, you know, you remember the opening scene in Skyrim when you're on a cart next to someone before the, the dragon comes and they want to like chop your head? The main quest during my demo time, I decided to go it alone, jumping on an ox cart to the next town to see what else I could discover. Dragon's Dogma 2 really clicked with me because you need to constantly be on your toes. Oh, there are moments good. of downtime where you can just enjoy the vista or pose with a random ogre you've defeated. Wait, he's not dead? But more often than not, I was organically finding combat encounters and secrets that I wanted to investigate more and that amazing loop was consistent as I made my journey back to town. Over the course of 80 minutes, I fought a griffin that flew me into the air and dropped me to my death. Ah. <laughs> I discovered the untimely fate of Raj was affected by the fact that I decided to run off exploring the wilderness. How unfortunate. A completely different outcome than what Mitchell encountered during his IGN first playthrough a couple months ago. I took wow. on an ogre that was protecting a treasure chest my pawn had led me to. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he sat on me. I turned down <laughs> new pawns that I had met who wanted to become a part of my crew. I was ambushed by a group of bandits making camp. And all of this happened organically while I just explored this small sliver of a Psst. massive map. Even though I was probably supposed to do that main quest, Dragon's Dogma 2 had just provided me with a wealth of entertainment that I didn't want to walk away from while wandering around accomplishing nothing related to the main quest at all. Whoa. Whoa. Here's one example. I had a fight with this griffin earlier. Now, while trying to hunt him down for round two, I've come upon its nest. I leap into action with flawless skill. <laughs> and it would seem I'm taking this fight on a little early because it starts at daytime and goes until the game cycles to nighttime. Wow. I ended up winning, but it took almost all of my resources. Was it worth it? And I had so much fun doing this. 
Now, the Mystic Spear Hand vocation was interesting, but as it was my first time playing Dragon's Dogma 2, I wasn't able to showcase all of the abilities. Still, the focus of the provided build was clearly all about the spear and your character's ability to teleport to foes and deliver devastating blows. The recent vocation trailer also teased a wealth of exciting options, like the ability to teleport directly on top of enemies before plunging your spear into their back, and an ability that teleports between status afflicted foes to deliver a crushing blow. Getting to see what was possible wow. just makes me want to go back and play even more. And if this isn't to your liking, Dragon's Dogma 2 has other vocations available. They include the Fighter, Archer, Mage, Thief. We did the Sorcerer vocation. We're going to do the others as well. Warrior, Sorcerer, Mystic Spearhand, Magic Archer. Nice. Warfare, which is sort of a jack of all trades. He split his. And Trickster, which we showed nice. off as part of our IGN first coverage. You are free to switch between each of these on the fly by simply talking to a vendor and taking a peek at the options available makes it clear that each has a lot more depth than expected. The second vocation I had the chance to try was the Magic Archer. Diving into the combat options, the sheer amount of choices at your disposal is incredibly exciting. My Archer had nine weapon skills to choose from with Flame Fang Arrow, Ricochet Hunter, Frost Hunter Bolt and Recovery Arrow selected. Flame Fang Arrow, at least in the build I played, seems incredibly overpowered. But anyway, when the time came to jump over to play the second vocation, I began by being ambushed in a tavern town. Boy, what's your problem? Only to make quick work of my opponent by stun locking them with Ricochet Hunter and Frost Hunter Bolt. It was an incredibly powerful combination, so powerful that the Griffin we encountered never stood a chance. In hindsight, I could have started this encounter a little better. <laughs> yeah. Flame Fang Arrow simply devastated everything with ease. While doing a quest that took me into the mines to collect materials, I was blindsided by this thing. Ooh. While letting my pawns do their job, I fire ricochet arrow and ice arrows at the opponent, as well as the very powerful flame fang arrow. Encounters like this <laughs> and the Griffin encounter- to me, he keeps on sounding like he says, flame thing arrow. Encounter <laughs> before really demonstrate how powerful the correct pawns are when paired with a good vocation. It also did a great job to break wow. up what I thought was a mission to collect rocks. This was constant throughout my playthrough. And I love how the game just keeps you on your toes all the time. Well, the gameplay was amazing and I can't wait to get back to play more. There was one concern I've seen the community curious about and that's the uncapped frame rate on console. When looking at this, it should be noted that I am playing a version which Capcom clearly states is still in development and it's not equivalent to the final product. But in this build on PlayStation 5, Dragon's Dogma 2 was averaging around 31 frames per second with dips during heavy combat moments while playing with the PS5 set to output at 4K. This I did game... not get to test at lower base resolutions or with variable refresh rate turned on during my run time smooth. to see if that had a positive impact Ton on performance. Effects. However, if I had one hope, it would be that Capcom added more options in the frame rate department, including at minimum a capped 30 frames per second mode on console. That yep. said, the gameplay was so fun that it was hard to walk away focused on anything other than my genuine excitement to play more. And as someone that primarily plays on PC, the frame rate didn't bother me that much because the gameplay is that fun. But I'm, I'm definitely going to play on my PC. My demo ended in the dead of night trying to help a character navigate the spirits, zombies, and monsters waiting for me in the darkness. But after playing almost two and a half hours, there's no denying that Dragon's Dogma 2 had me hooked. I cannot wait to play more on March 22nd. If you want to see more about Dragon's Dogma 2, be sure to check out our IGN first coverage. And for more on all things gaming, keep it right here on IGN. This looks amazing.
please give us <laughs> wow just by walking around he, the game captivated him and that's amazing really i had it i think only with skyrim now the open worlds games that coming out you know and shrouded and all that sh is all around captivating you while just exploring but this looks like a different level and i'm really looking forward to this game are you looking forward to this game if so what are you looking forward most to what vocation are you going to choose let me know i'm always a sorcerer and i'm really intrigued what are you playing mostly at this games thank you so much for joining me in today's video if you like the video hit the like button it will sure help the algorithm and subscribe for more of this content also let me know what you think we should react and play next your opinion matters and you're not just a user on youtube i appreciate you very much for being here with me and i hope you have an awesome rest of the day i'm gonna see you in the next video Thank you and goodbye.